Uh, in uh, this tutorial, I will use an RFID reader. And I will demonstrate how you can uh, use this RFID reader in a Windows Form application. So here you see the RFID uh, system I am having. This is, a, this is the RFID reader. It's a desktop reader, Neo2. And then I have different MyFair Classic 1K RFID tags in different colors. And in this tutorial, I will create a Windows Form uh, desktop application that are reading these tags when you tap them on top of the reader. And the hardware is normally ready to use from the factory in so-called HID mode, which is the recommended mode. So you normally don't need to do any configuration. You start just start using it. You just plug uh, the reader into your USB uh, port on your computer and then you are ready to use this device. So uh, in order to test it, we can just open the Microsoft Word or something or Notepad or whatever. And then we just make sure that this document is active and then we can tap different tags on top of the reader and they will automatically be written into the document like this. So when we have tested the device and it make sure it works as expected, then we are ready to start creating some Windows Forms and using the C Sharp language examples. So I will start with a very basic and simple example. I will just create a simple text box and make sure that the text box is active. Then I can tap different tags on top of the reader and then I will just create a message box that say you scanned tag ID uh, for this specific tag that you tap on top of the reader. So it's a very simple and basic uh, Windows application. So let's start creating this application. So now I have opened my Visual Studio. I just select create a new project, select a Windows Forms application, click next, and then I just type a name for it, RFID demo or whatever. Then I have uh, I put it in a folder on my hard drive like this, select folder and then I just click next. So then we are ready to start uh, creating the application and in this basic application I will just use a basic text box. Just take some time to make the um, graphical user interface ready to use. So let's just uh, drag a text box into the um, uh, graphical user interface, make it a little bit bigger. I also have a label. So I can name the label RFID tag or something like this. And then we have the text box. I can change the name to txt rfid tag or something. Typically also, since this uh, reader, it, it adds a um, carriage return to the end of the tag. So I typically uh, want to set this um, multi-line to true like this. I can also drag the text box like this to show multiple lines. And now I can just start application. And now we have a very basic simple application with a multi-line text box. And then you see uh, the text box is active. And then I can just tap different tags on top of the reader. Like this. And now I'm, you see the um, tag ID is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight character long. And then every time I tap a new one, you see I get a unique tag ID that are written into this uh, text box. So basically this is a very simple application in order to read values from this um, tag reader into Visual Studio. So let's uh, e extend this application with some C-sharp code. And then typically when uh, a new tag ID is written into here, we want to do some C-sharp code. So then I can just double click in order to create an event for this text box. 
and all this event for this text box text change has been created automatically and then I can just start by creating a variable tag ID or something equals to this uh, text box and uh, uh, like this and now typically also re I want to remove this carriage uh, return um, from the text and then you can use this um, trim function uh, like this and then we just place here like this so r slash r is um, is the um, is the um, symbol for this carriage return so then this means that we remove the carriage return uh, from the text and then only the remaining tag is in this variable tag ID. Then you can put this into a text box. So then I just use uh, message box dot show like this. And then we can type something here. You scan tag ID equals to plus on this uh, variable like this, and also since um, this is uh, event is occurring every time we, uh, something is put into this text box, but since this um, tag ID is eight character long so we typically want to um, create an if sentence here if if oh sorry um, if this tag ID is larger than eight character long like this then we want to show the tag ID inside this uh, message box like this so if tag ID the length of this variable is um, uh, larger than eight characters then we will remove the carriage return from the string and then we, uh, we will pop up this uh, message box uh, like this. So let's just uh, run this application and see what's happening. And then we have the same text box here, a, tap, a tag on top of the reader. And then you see, you scanned tag ID uh, here, and also see it here. Then I can click OK, tap a new one. Um, I can start by uh, removing all the old, uh, previous one, tap a new one, uh, etc. So we need to do some uh, fine tuning here in order to make it uh, perfect. So then I can um, start by, um, so since we here, sorry, um, since we here, has put the, um, uh, the contents of this text box into a variable. We can start by, after that, we can just uh, delete it. So you just set it to, to empty, uh, like this. And also, we typically, we want to also make sure that this um, uh, text box is uh, in focus, so we can use this focus property uh, like this. And also, no, we don't need this multi line, uh, so we can just it's still multi line, but we only see the uh, one line because we are removing this character uh, carriage return. We can make it a little bit smaller as well, like this, and we run it. I just needed to build it first. 
and then I run it. Yeah, I just need a semicolon here after this focus, like this. Now I can build it and then run it. So now we have this text box. I just tap a read uh, tag on top of the reader and then you scan tag ID uh, equals to A4 etc. I click OK and now this one goes back to focus which is set here. So now the system are ready to receive a new tag like this. I click OK. This one re uh, go back to active. I click on a new uh, put a new tag on top of the reader etc. So basically this is a simple application where I have just used a text box, which is in this case is multi-line, but I only see the first line because I remove the car uh, carriage return that are automatically written into the text box in addition to the eight character long uh, RFID tag. And I put this into a variable and then I just um, show the tag ID into a text box and then Finally, I just set the text box here back to the focus. So basically, this simple application with uh, less than uh, 10 lines of code, uh, of C-sharp code, you are able to, to read uh, a RFID tag into a text box and then you can do whatever with, uh, you like with this tag. You can communicate or save it to a database. Uh, assuming you have some uh, creating a, a bookstore or a library application, then you can look up information regarding this tag into an SQL Server database and get, uh, retrieve information from this specific tag, uh, etc. So you have many different uh, possibilities uh, in combination with this RFID uh, reader. Here you see another uh, example. So here I have the same multi-line text box. In addition, I have this uh, a new tag, uh, a new text box here. So basically, when a new when I tap here a uh, tag on top of the reader, it will uh, pop up here. But I then I will copy it into this this one and present it here. And then I will look up information uh, in the C-sharp program. So if uh, the tag ID is equal to this one, I will just set the color to green and then I will display the color here in this uh, tag color text box. And if the tag ID is this, I will uh, set the color to red, blue, yellow, black, etc. So let's just demonstrate it. I start with, uh, with the red one, tap it on top of the reader. And then you see this text box present a unique tag ID and then this text box presents some additional inf uh, information regarding this tag and it says the tag is red then I use a green one and this has this unique ID and the color is green according to this if else logic I have here in my C-sharp program. I tap a yellow one, a blue one, and finally this uh, black one. So basically, this is a simple uh, application that demonstrates some basic use of this RFID reader. You need to have a text box that is active, so the RFID reader can automatically put in the, the tag that you uh, tap on top of the reader and then you can create some logic in your C-sharp code. In this example I just create a basic logic using an if else if sentence to display uh, the specific color for the tag in this uh, text box. And in this example I also use this uh, check if the length of the character that are written into this uh, text box is larger than 8. This means that a new uh, tag has been tapped on top of the reader. So then I just go if a new uh, tag has been tapped on top 
then we go into this part of the code and then I just, since I'm here, I'm not removing the previous tags, I just use this um, substring uh, method that is part of C-sharp in order to pick out the latest eight characters, which is the latest uh, tag that I tapped on top of the reader. And then I put this one into this text box and then I'm using this logic in order to figure out the color of the specific tag. So that's all, so good luck with your RFID uh, reader and your Visual Studio and C-sharp programming.